Jeremy Vine show prompts thousands of over junior doctors pay debate. Jeremy Vine's current affairs show on Channel 5 has prompted more than two, 200 complaints to Ofcom following a broadcast which featured a discussion about the junior doctors pay dispute. The media watchdog said it is currently considering whether to launch an investigation following the program on 13 March. Which saw presenter Vine invite broadcaster Lynn Mai and associate editor of the Daily Mirror Kevin Maguire to discuss junior doctors in the NHS taking strike action over pay. When asked whether junior doctors deserve a 35% pay increase, Mai said, We need doctors and I don't think the job of being a doctor is as attractive anymore so I do agree they need a pay rise, but 35% is a stretch. Essentially like, Vine, said, being a doctor is like being in other fields, a graduate, an apprentice. Now the average for a graduate is £25, 000, so they're still getting more than the average graduate. Vine, 57, argued that because of years of university training, junior doctors begin their career loaded with debt. However, Mai said we need to incentivize them more paying for the training fees or expenses. But a 35% pay rise isn't achievable or doable and will open the floodgates. Meanwhile, Maguire acknowledged junior doctors had to work really hard at university. But described a huge retention problem once they start their careers which he said is a waste of them. It's a waste of public resources and time and it impacts on our health. The broadcast saw dozens of critics flock to social media to point out errors made during the debate. And two, 250 complaints made to media regulator Ofcom. On Wednesday a spokesperson for Ofcom said, We are assessing the complaints against our broadcasting rules. But are yet to decide whether or not to investigate. A junior doctor is a term given to a medical graduate who has to complete two years of work-based training known as the foundation program to bridge the gap between medical school and speciality training. According to the British Medical Association, 